Hi, so I just have a few words to say. Um, something that kind of frustrates me when I'm doing deliveries. And that is that when a customer calls and places an order on the phone with your restaurant, that customer should come first. That customer called before your customer is in line. And by the time we get to the restaurant, their food is almost ready or ready or has been waiting. Therefore, they should take priority. Um, about a year and a half ago, I think, maybe last year, I had an issue with somebody at Walmart and I went to go pick up something for a customer. And the guy came out with an attitude and he was kind of irate. And he said, well, our regular customers come first. I'll be with you shortly. And there was another guy next to me who was also delivering food, uh, a delivery driver. He was picking up from Walmart as well. And we just kind of looked at each other and I said, no, I'm going to say something to him. So I did. I, and I, well, I said something to uh, another Walmart representative that came out. I said, this is what this guy just said. He has an attitude problem. And do you also agree that people who order food or order stuff from your store online are not regular customers because they are paying also. They're paying your paycheck just as well as the people who are picking up their orders themselves or people who are shopping in your store. And he apologized and he said he would take care of it and he spoke with the guy. And then the guy had a nicer attitude. I mean, what really happens is, is that the people who called on the phone in, in, in the restaurant, they call before people are standing in line. At Walmart, they may have called at the same time as other people waiting to pick up their own food who have not called a delivery service but they're just as important. Um, but as far as the restaurant goes, if they, if they call in their order, they should take priority because their food was called in first, which means if their food is ready, because it's not always ready, because they put other people ahead of them, like the people standing in line, if, if their food is ready, it's sitting there getting colder because you're taking care of your customers in line. Although a lot of the restaurants have a pickup side, they don't always pay attention to that first. If you're already in the middle of the order, I certainly understand that. But after that should come, which it does in some stores, not in all stores, should come the person who's waiting to pick up food that's sitting there getting cold. Or if you're the, uh, the type of restaurant, because a few of them are, that uh, won't make the food until the driver gets there because you want to make sure that they get there and you're not wasting food, which is understandable, then for sure you should be taking that order and not waiting because the order was placed first. It, it's your choice to wait for the person to come in and that means if you're taking all of these other orders, your customer, it is your customer ordering from your food, you're getting paid to, to make the food for them. Um, we're getting paid by whichever company we work for and that basically takes care of our gas. So the problem is, is that you're making a customer wait. Either their food is getting cold or they're just waiting longer. They've already paid you. They haven't paid us unless they tip us because we don't get paid unless we get tipped. Well, the pay that we get from the companies, whether it's DoorDash or Postmates or any of the ones that are out there, they basically give you for mileage. So you're basically getting your gas paid for. And, you know, maybe you can put away a couple of bucks a week to take care of your uh, maintenance on your vehicle. Um, but that's it. So it's basically like, thanks for giving me gas money to go to somewhere to make sure also that my car is maintained, but only for small types of maintenance. But if you do that all day long without a person tipping you, you're basically working for free, which most of you will not do, so you have to understand the tipping part. Um, but what I'm trying to say here is that the people 
who work at the restaurants, they make the food, they do whatever they do, they, the decisions that they make during the day it stays in the restaurant. They don't have to bring the food to the customer, so they don't have to worry about a customer who is unhappy um, because the customer who is not satisfied will not be probably calling them on the phone. They'll be yelling at us, like, why is our food cold or why did it take so long? I mean, yesterday I went to Papa John's and when I got there, the food was supposed to be ready in a minute or two because they tell you when the pickup is supposed to be, which works out for both sides, right? And there's a lady that's in there who is a driver for Papa John's. Um, we do outside. So they outsource, and I am assuming that Papa John's outsources when they have an overload of deliveries, unless they call on our website. Um, so, because sometimes they're shocked, oh, I didn't know that, you know, uh, DoorDash, Postmates, whatever, delivers. I thought it was Papa John's, and I said, well, they must outsource when they get busy. So. Um, basically, they want their food in time, and they want hot food, and you don't have to hear their complaints, so that's not really a good excuse for you to uh, take care of your other customers who are standing in line, because as I said, they, they didn't order their food first, your customers in line, they're just ordering. So this is a big issue for me. One, because I used to work in restaurants and manage restaurants and manage my people and make sure they got food out correctly and on time. And two, because although delivery services have been around for a very long time, in Vegas in the 90s, I started the delivery service where we would pick up from fast food restaurants. We didn't have that here and I thought that would be great, especially for people who were dealers or any other casino worker um, who wanted their food at all times of the night and they didn't want to go out for it and they loved it. And then I gave it up after about a year, year and a half. Um, but had I stuck with it and even thought about the technology that we have today, because it was different, I was basically on the phone, I was dispatch, I was delivering, I had drivers, um, I would have made a fortune or I would have been around long enough to explain to people that you can't just be a driver, uh, you, you actually have to tell the restaurant people what the problems are, even get in their faces sometimes, and I don't mean in a, in a rude way, uh, months ago I had some issues with uh, uh, the chicken, uh, was it El Pollo Loco? No. Uh, I don't know, it was another one. Actually, they're right across the street from each other. And, um, every time I would go in there, I would have to wait, like, 25 to 45 minutes, one or two times an hour. And I would get really pissed off, and they'd stand there, and they would just take orders. Sometimes they would be overwhelmed, and I... I finally said something to the manager, and I think I mentioned this story on here, because um, it was during the time of lockdown, and one of the employees dropped the tongs on the ground, on the floor in the kitchen, picked them up, and threw them back near the, the woman who was baking the biscuits, and how is she to know if they're, if they're clean or dirty? He didn't throw them in the sink, or somewhere appropriate and I kind of got pissed off and I know that the managers look through the cameras because I used to be able to do that to check on my crew and um, he came up front and he asked if there was an issue and I said I'll tell you the issue I said he dropped the tongs on the floor and he threw them right back up, up there and then he just kind of looked like oh um, yeah that's not a good thing and he was actually frustrated and he, so he said something to the guy and told him not to do that anymore. 
And then I said, I've been standing here for, I don't know what it was, 30, 40 minutes. I said, and it's not the first time. Anyway, when I went back in the time after, it was even worse. And he came up, he saw me, he said, she was here last time and had this problem. What is the problem, blah, blah, blah. And I said, I told him, I said, this is nothing against you. I said, but I manage restaurants also and fast food. I said, they don't seem to be under any kind of thumb or anything. They just freely, they do what they want. They're not paying attention to the food that goes out. And my people, who are actually your people, want their food. Nobody should have to wait that long for food. By the time I get in here, by the time I get the call, okay, so the customer calls and then we're sent a call. That's already a five or 10 minute process, um, depending on whatever. And then depending on where you are, to get there, it could be another two minutes, it could be another 15, 20 minutes. I said, and for some reason, I get calls to this restaurant after another deliver, delivery driver, I'm assuming, has dropped it and canceled the delivery. So I always already am coming in here late, so that makes it even worse. If somebody gives you an order that someone else drops, they give them the time to get there. So who knows how long that could be? I said, and I said, I know it drives you crazy, but they need to listen to you and they need to pay attention and do their jobs. You're giving food to customers. So I said, and the our customers, when we come in, the food is supposed to be ready because it was called in. So if it was called in 20 minutes ago, and then I asked, I said, how long ago was it called in actually? And, um, you know, they they find this the time and it's it's been quite some time. And then he realized, yeah, okay, she's right. Um you know, which was really cool. So the next time I went in, I guess he kind of worked on it and spoke with his people because I told them and they're like walk all over you. Like you sit in the back and they just do whatever, um, with their thumbs up their butts and we shouldn't be standing here dealing with this and, and the customer shouldn't be unhappy. So, um, I haven't seen him in there since. I don't know if he was fed up or if they let him go or he realized he didn't have a handle on it. I don't know. He was a nice guy. But anyway, so for delivery drivers, definitely speak up if there's a problem because we're completely um, online and we unfortunately don't have a way to contact support unless it's through chat. And then we have to hope that we don't have to wait for 20, 30 minutes for chat um, while we're on an active delivery. So there are things that we need to learn how to handle ourselves. Sometimes it's harder when you haven't worked in a restaurant because I'll go in and see what the problem is and tell them what they should be doing. Because I, I don't care. Because I know. Um, and if you're not going to do what you should be doing, I'm just going to tell you. Um, and also, if the company that you're working for, if we can't get in touch with them immediately on an active delivery, somebody needs to make a call. Somebody needs to straighten somebody out, whether it's the manager or we make complaints because we have that option at the end of the delivery, after we clicked on, we delivered it to the customer, you have a smiley face or a frown, and if you click on the frown, um, and you just choose an option of what it is, what the problem is, uh, you can, there's also a box there for you to explain what your issue is, and you should do that. And sometimes I forget. Um, oh, that's because I was, I was saying the other day, um, because we're the ones who we're the ones who are early or late, regardless of the restaurant. I mean, I, I know that they can see when you get there because you slide when you get there, and I would imagine they would know how long you've been standing there, so it's not your fault. But when we get raided, we want to um, have a reason why we were late for something. So at Papa John's the other day, I walked in and. And the, the woman who, she works there, but she's a delivery driver, and she'll answer the phone while she's waiting on food, and she'll help them box the food, and she'll put her own stuff, you know, get her own stuff together. And I knew that, I know this because one time she said, hey, look, because I said something to her because she was ignoring me, and 
she was working back there with the guy. She said, hey, I'm just a delivery driver. I help them out. But she did help me, and she's been nicer since. Um, but I went in, and she said, oh, it's going to be another couple of minutes. So I went outside, and I walked back in about 15 minutes later, and they said, oh, that one's not ready. It's just going in. I said, look, I've already been here for 15 minutes. The order is late. And he said, I'm sorry, we forgot to put the buffalo sauce on, on the pizza. And so by the time it was ready, it was 26 minutes out. And that just really pisses me off. But so then, so that I'm not blamed or it doesn't count on my ratings, and I'm not sure if they even look at this, you put, you click the reason why, so you, they give you several options. And then there is the box for the description of what the issue is and just tell them what the issue is so I can get on them but I, w I would like the company to get on them as well because I didn't sign a contract with them they signed a contract with them and they should always know what's going on and so we're the eyes and ears and the experience so we should be letting them know what the issues are because I I do straighten out the issues that I have because well, I have a big mouth, and because I know what goes on in restaurants, and because I have delivery experience from not just the past while, but from when I had my delivery service. Um, so I'm right out there, that's fine. Some people are not like that, some people have not worked in restaurants, some people feel like they shouldn't say something. But you have to say something, because someone has to dominate a situation if there's an issue, if indeed the company that you work for is unavailable to do so. So never feel bad and just be nice about it, of course. Um, even state the obvious in a nice way. Um, and that's it. Um, and I tell them sometimes, look, you get paid by the hour, I don't. I like to make tips. And sometimes customers don't even tip because they think that the delivery fee that goes to the company is a tip and it's not. I said, so I don't need to be wasting time here because you have issues. Take care of your food that comes in as it comes in and there will be no issues. I don't dilly-dally. You know, I drop off my food and as soon as I get another order, I go straight to that. You know, if there's a problem in between, like, um, well, there can be several issues. Because people, for some reason, um, think that we are psychic. Well, you know, maybe we are, but um, and they and they believe that they can give us this limited information, or forget, or wrong information, and then we have to search for them. So it takes longer, and that really sucks when we have another order in the car while their food gets cold because someone decides that they live in a building and they just want to give you their apartment number and they forget that they live in a building. Anyway, alright, thanks for listening. And please uh, share this page and let people know, for those of you who know to tip people when they go to restaurants and pick up food and bring them to your house to tip, because I let stupid comment on TikTok before I deleted it a couple of months ago and the, somebody uh, one of the restaurants posted so they were, the posters on it were talking about you know how good their food is or whatever and I said don't forget to tip your delivery drivers and then someone said oh I always do blah 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 and other people thumbs up or they said they always do and one guy gets on he's like oh, why should I tip you to pick up food if all you're doing is picking up food I mean, if all I'm doing is picking up food, why don't you go pick it up yourself? If that's all I'm doing. I said, well, you tip your, I hope, your waiters and your waitresses. I said, let's see, I drive to the restaurant, and then I wait for your food. I put it in my car, and I drive to your house and bring your food to your front door. That's why you should tip me. All right, folks, thanks. Have a great day.